Ron. They found the recoil of Nina Daniel, her first, first team found the quarter. They found number 20, Cabrillo Lewis, her first, second team back. Pass it down from 32, Mel Ferrer to her first, second team pass. Second time I call by that town in Hesse.
Sounds of Adam Ryan and Rita Jane. It's her first 13th battle.
Two points. Now this is now number 32, middle, number two, first, second, fourth, team back. Aaron of the first quarter, and we scored up for the state 23. Talent is Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We are live with another great afternoon of TCC Eagles basketball. We apologize for the technical difficulties in the first quarter. We're here, though, at the start of the second. TCC trailing 23-15 against the Gulf Coast State Commodores. And we're celebrating the 20-year anniversary of their first ever, the Eagles' first ever NG, NJCAA tournament game where they beat number 20 Lewisburg College 
I'm Brett Rutherford alongside Luke Fay. Luke, what did you think so far out of the first quarter? Well, you know, they, they got down early 9-0 to zero and battled back. Got it down to an eight-point game after trailing by double figures. Uh, I think that I like the effort towards the end of that first quarter to close out. And we'll see if the Eagles can continue on this uh, positive movement into this second quarter um, where we've seen them go, go into big deficits and come out of them. Love to see it here as they go into what we're recognizing as sophomore night for the women's team tonight. Now Polina with it. Chambers cuts inside, now it goes over to Guthrie. Now Kyra Smith with it, who thinks, takes the deep three and hits it. Big shot there by Kyra, cuts it to five, and just like that, right back in it, Brett. The offense started to click there towards the end of the first quarter, now trying to focus on getting stops. There's a three, this one from Nia Daniel, and she oh, hits she it. she can't miss. Can't miss right today. Back. Brett, is that her third three of the day? It is. Nia Daniel the uh, started at North Carolina, her collegiate career now with Gulf Coast State. The leading scorer in the Panhandle Conference. Coming into this, she was averaging 23.3 a game. Off to a, a great start here in the Eagle Dome. Now Polina with it. Chambers sets the ball screen now. Guthrie. Looks for Kyra Smith. Looks like that pass was deflected. Kyra Smith has it again. Takes another three. This one misfires. Now in transition. Here come the Commodores. And that'll be a traveling violation called against Layla Grant. You know, Brett, it's good to see uh, Polina and Rita James back in the lineup here after they missed the last game in the Eagle Dome. Yeah, and we're still seeing some good rotation. Devon Guthrie getting more minutes as... She gets back on track. Kara Mullity checking into the game for the first time now. But definitely good to have James and Polina back in the rotation. Fair to a little bit of pressure from Gulf, Gulf Coast State. Mel will pass out of it and find Olivia Eller. Again, TCC trailing by eight. Eight minutes to go in the first half. Anna with it now. Takes it into the corner now, tries to run up the baseline. Gets a lot of contact from Nia Daniel and will draw the foul. Got to be aware of the shot clock here, Brett. All right, actually it's going to reset after the foul, so up to 20. And we'll see Rita James check into the ball game. She, uh, she hit a three from straight on to contribute to this eight-point deficit here. Inbounded by Mel Ferratovich. And it'll go towards Gulf Coast State foul by Rita on the reach in. Rita James is the leading scorer. She's got five in this one. Three of those coming off that three-pointer you just mentioned and another two from the free throw. Daniel pulls up for three. This one misses. Fight for the rebound. It'll Brought down by Crockwell. Daniel goes into the corner. Here's the shot from the baseline. That'll fall for Sarah Matthews. The sophomore out of Atlanta, Georgia. Makes it a double-digit lead for Gulf Coast State. Yeah, I got to fight back here, Brett. Don't want to get down too much. I have a strong second quarter here as James gets bumped. And she'll head to the, head free, of the throw free throw line. line, yeah. Good take there by Rita. Brianna Chambers, five rebounds already in this game. On the bench currently for the Eagles. James' first free throw attempt falls. Now three for three on the from the line today. Second one will miss. It'll be rebounded by Daniel. Now Crockwell with it. Goes inside to Matthews. Oh, what blocked a block. by Ferratovic. Here come the Eagles. Polina finds Anna. Anna maybe thinks about a three. Now goes back to her sister. Over 
to Rita James, who takes a deep three. This oh. one's good. Rita James. Feeling it from out there. That was deep, deep, about two steps behind the three-point line. Knocks it down, six-point game here, and it's poked away, a steal by Anna. Here come the Eagles, Anna, Rita in over underneath the basket. Anna takes it herself and gets the bucket to fall, and all of a sudden it's a four-point game. A little hesitation there, Brett created some space up and under. Good finish, and now it's a four-point game. Crockwell takes a three. This one's good. Adrian Crockwell, who performed so well. First time these two teams met up here in the Eagle Dome. Gulf Coast State back to a seven-point lead, 31-24, 6-10 to go here in the second quarter. Yeah, that was a killer three. Stole back the momentum from the Eagles there. and Anna looking to go to work. Takes it, misses, rebounds her shot. Tries to dish it out to Polina, but that one will be picked off by Daniel. Looks to bring the ball up the floor for Gulf Coast State. She pulls up for the shot, gets the lucky roll. Makes it 33-24, Gulf Coast State. Rena James now just trying to slow things down. Eagles trying to find that momentum once again. They found pockets of it so far in this one. Lena driving it in, dishes out to Mel. Now over to Mullady. Mullady takes a three. That one off back iron. Crockwell bringing it up. She goes left with it. Now takes it under the basket. Good steal. This one stolen by Rita James. Two on Turn one here. Over to Anna Nikolochkina, rebounded by James. Lots of space now. She takes it up, and she'll go back to the free throw line. Yeah, I, I don't know why Rita... Decided to dribble that one out. I think she should have gone right back up with it. She'll go to the free throw line and we'll have a chance to make it a seven point game with both these free throws. And a big substitution here for Gulf Coast State. See Kyra Smith check back in as well as Naya Bostic for the Eagles. Joining Rita, Anna, and Polina. As Rita's first free throw attempt falls. Rita gets, goes two for two. She's four for five from the line today. It's what you'd expect from an 80% free throw shooter. We'll get a timeout from Coach Huddleston and the Eagles. We'll step aside. This is TCC Eagles basketball brought to you by First Florida Credit Union. Coming back on the other side of that full timeout. Less than five minutes to go here in the first half. Boston will get called for the foul. She comes up behind on Matthews. This is the fourth and final matchup between Tallahassee and Gulf Coast State. And I'll tell you more about the Gulf Coast State head coach on the other side of this media timeout. This is TCC Basketball live on tccegles.com. Tallahassee Community College has been named as one of the top 10 community colleges in the nation. 
The Aspen Institute recognizes institutions from across the country that have exceptional achievements and a total commitment to improving student outcomes. The college was recognized as one of the nation's premier community colleges eligible to compete for the prestigious $1 million Aspen Prize for Community College Excellence because of its focus on student access and success, its workforce training initiatives, a seamless and high transfer rate to four-year colleges and universities, and its many varied and productive community partnerships. This recognition from the Aspen Institute is a testament to the wonderful work of the faculty, staff, and leadership at Tallahassee Community College. And we're back. Gulf Coast State inbound, and here's Rockwell with it. Eagles coming out in a zone here, 2 3. Trying to change things up. Rockwell in the corner for three. Oh, off the side no. of the backboard, but easily rebounded by Layla Grant. Yeah, it looked like each Eagle had, had their man blocked out, but someone came in from that three point line, just picked one up, laid it up and in real easy. A shame because that was a great defensive possession for the Eagles. Chambers with it in the corner. She goes inside to Kyra Smith. Takes a shot. No good off the backboard. Now Crockwell in transition behind the back. Plays it off to Grant. Grant takes a deep three. That one rims out. Rebounded by Chambers. Right before we went to break, I was going to talk to you a little bit about Kayla Petrie, the head coach of the Gulf Coast State Commodores. It's her first year in charge in Panama City. Tyra Smith in the post. Gets her to miss and gets the bucket to fall. Great movement in the low post there from Kyra Smith. Big shoes to fill for Coach Petrie coming in after a national championship coach. Crockwell hits a tiger three. And Petrie, she does have a lot of great experience coming from South Plains College. At one point was ranked number one in NJCAA. There's Chambers, she misses. Got to number one after a 26 game winning streak at South Plains College. Petrie, the Texas native, played at Texas Tech. Now finds herself in Panama City. There's a mid range jumper, no good from Labu Sis. Well, I think she's finding out that Florida ball was a little bit different than Texas ball here in her first year. The Panhandle Conference is no joke. Leading the conference right now is Northwest Florida State at 12-1 and in Conference Chipola, 11-2 and in Gulf Coast State, and third at 6-7. and There's Polina for three. No good. Rebounded by Gulf Coast State. Three on two. Maybe a four on two. Goes over to Sis. She's got an easy layup. Taking a 12-point lead for the Commodores. 40-28. Two and a half to go in the first half. If you're just tuning in, TCC moving from left to right in the royal blue. Gulf Coast State moving right to left in navy blue. Now in transition. Crockwell has a chance for three. Looked like it was going to be a layup attempt. Crockwell then misses the three. Rebounded by, that is, rebounded by Sarah Matthews, and she finishes the bucket. Eagles getting set here as Anna brings it up. Looking for Chambers in the low post. She has a hard time handling it. Crockwell's got it now. Gulf Coast State moving in transition once again. But Crockwell was fouled by Kyra Smith before she got the pass off. And that would have been an easy bucket, it looks like, again, for Gulf Coast State. But maybe the foul stops some of that momentum. You know, Brett, I think it should be illegal that two teams wear a certain color of blue for us colorblind people out there. I was thinking that. That's kind of why I brought that up. A little bit of a uniform I mean, I, could, I, I think it's a little bit easier to see in person, yeah. but I, I'm looking through the computer here, and it, it can be difficult. It can be difficult. And you've got the, both teams wearing the gold numbers. Another three from Cabrilla Lewis, and that one falls. And the Eagles cut it to what, four there, Breton? Gulf Coast State has gone on a tear ever since. 
little under a minute and a half remaining in the second quarter. Olivia Eller with it now. Goes over to Anna. Anna with a deep three. That one falls. I'll tell you what, the Eagles, no shortage of three-pointers this afternoon. Lewis with it now. Pulls up from mid-range. No good. Rebounded by TCC. Here come the Eagles. Olivia Eller. Less than a minute now. Rita James with it. Finds Anna. Will she go for another three? She does. No good. Rebounded. Rita, the there we rebound. go. Finishes the shot. Great hustle play by Rita James, the Eagles' leading scorer. She's got 13 now on the day. Leading scorer in the game. I'd say this, Brett. I, I think you can argue there's been three threes out here from TCC that if you line them all up are probably 75 feet worth of shot made. They're hitting it from the outside and a good follow there by Rita. That one's taken in. By Ava Miller, the freshman out of Riverton, Utah, six foot three freshman. Got to be aware of the clock. Eight on the the timeline here. Here's Mal in the corner. She's going to take it inside. She's got five seconds and counting. Looks like she draws the foul there. She does. That one is going to go against Miller. Yeah, I misspoke there, Brett. But it looks like Ferratovic. I think she saw Olivia Eller over on that side, and it looked like at the last second she tried to pass it to. And uh, the Eagles will shoot. Are they going to shoot two? Or I think that they just realized that as well. They're going to call it a, <laughs> a non-shooting foul because they were trying to. She was trying to find Eller. Well, you've got three seconds left, Luke. I think is this one going to go to Rita James, the hot hand so far today? I don't. I don't be don't be afraid to see Olivia Eller get the ball right back after she inbounds it. Let's deep over to Anna. To Anna, she's got to shoot it. She does. Pulls up from three. And no good. That'll send us to halftime. Gulf Coast State leading this one 47-33. Luke, what do you need to see out of the Eagles in the second half for them to get back into this game? Well, you know, we, we saw them hit a couple of outside shots. Um, I, I think that it, it starts on the defensive side and see if TCC can get some points in transition, some fast break buckets to get themselves back in the game, but also to get the momentum back in this building. You know, it, it got quiet a little bit towards the end of that second half. A good, I would say a pretty good finish, though, to the uh, earth second quarter excuse me good finish to the second quarter um, and, we'll, and we'll see if in the third uh, they can take advantage of uh, that that first start there and they finished both quarters on a bit of a scoring run Rita James is the leading scorer with 13 she's also got three rebounds Brianna Chambers has got 4.6 rebounds Kyra Smith with five points and five boards over on the other side Mia Daniel leading the Commodores with 12 points and three rebounds and we'll talk to you on the other side of this break. Again, the Eagles trailing 47-33 at halftime here in the Eagle Dome. This is TCC Basketball brought to you by First Florida Credit Union.
And we're back here at the start of the second half here in the Eagle Dome. Gulf Coast State leading Tallahassee 47-33. Crockwell pulls up for a long mid-range jumper. Fight for the rebound. That one's between Anna. Looks like it'll be called a jump ball. Possession arrow going towards the Eagles. That one was contested between Anna and Sarah Matthews of Gulf Coast State. Rita James led the way for the Eagles with 13 points in the first half. She's back on the ball here now. Finds Polina. Cuts inside. Outside to Kyra Smith for three. No good. Rebounded by Sis. Try to move quickly. Matthews now. Smith breaks it up. Recovered by Anna. Eagles have a chance here now again. Try to cut into this 14-point deficit early on in the second half. Polina with it now. Chambers sets the ball screen. Now Rita James thinks about the deep three. Goes instead goes inside to Chambers. Has a hard time handling. Ends up claiming it and will miss the shot. Now rebounded by Rita James. Now again by Kyra Smith. Polina for three. That's good. Polina Nikolovskina gets the Eagles on the board in the second half. Cuts the lead down to 11 for Gulf Coast State. Now for three, it's Layla Grant. That shot doesn't go. Sis with the rebound, but stolen away by Rita James. She gets past one. Has one to go. She pulls up. No good. Rims out. Rebounded by Sarah Matthews. Rita James going to stay and try to apply some pressure as Nia Daniel brings it up. She was the leading scorer for Gulf Coast State, and she is fouled bringing it up. That'll be inbounded. Now inside, stolen away by Rita James once again. Another steal from the Eagles point guard who is on fire today. Anna with it now. Takes it all the way to the hoop. She'll get it to fall and she'll go to the line for one more. A great take to the hoop by Anna Nikolovskina. Anna at the free throw line. Gets it to fall. She's a 66.7% free throw shooter. That makes it just an eight-point game here in the Eagle Dome. A great start to the second half for TCC. Over into the corner to Grant. Now back to Daniel. Now into the other corner. It's Sarah Matthews. Daniel with it now inside. Ava Miller now. Back out to Liz Gibbs. Here's Daniels with it. Shot clock at three. At two, here's the shot from Grant. No good. Rebounded by Ava Miller. Poked away by James, but it'll stay. Gulf Coast State ball. But once again, Rita James, just an absolute menace on defense. Inbounding under the basket. Out to Daniel, a fresh 20 for Gulf Coast State. Now Grant pulls up. That one won't fall, but rebounded again by Gulf Coast State. Daniel pulls up for three. That one's good. Gulf Coast State's first bucket of the second half. They get to 50, 50 to 39 now, the Commodores lead. Gulf Coast State has won the last four times these teams have played. Here's Chambers with a deep two. Rebounded by Anna. James over to Kyra Smith. They go right back inside to Bree Chambers. She puts it up and gets it to fall. Last meeting in Panama City. Gulf Coast State won by a score of 90 to 63. Miller takes it in. No good, but she'll get her own rebound. And it'll be another jump ball called as Polina goes in to fight. with Miller. This one will stay though. Possession arrow 
going towards Gulf Coast State. They'll switch back to TCC for the next jump ball. Gulf Coast State sitting at 6-7 and seven in conference play. In third place behind 11-2 and two, Chipola and 12-1 and one, Northwest Florida State who lead the way so far in the Panhandle Conference as we enter round four, last four games of the season. There's a three from Nia Daniel again. This one misses. Rebounded by Anna. TCC sitting at 111 in conference play. 2-12 and 12 on the season. Anna takes it in all the way herself. No good. That one will go apparently off of Bree Chambers and head the other way. That one missed by Daniel, rebounded by Chambers. James with it now, a little over six to go. Gulf Coast State leading this one 50 to 41. Polina, ball fakes, now goes back out to James. She's got Anna for three. James gets an offensive rebound. An energizer bunny out there for the Eagles today. Anna with it now. Six seconds remaining on the shot clock. James takes it in, goes out to Polina. She shoots for three, and it's good. 50-44 now, five and a half to go in the third quarter. Nia Daniel takes it in, pulls up. No good. Originally rebounded, but now it's reclaimed by Rita James. She's moving in transition. She's got Anna to her left. Takes it up the baseline. That one will be poked away, but it'll stay TCC basketball. TCC finding lots of momentum here at the start of the second half, and we'll get a 30-second timeout. We'll step aside. This is TCC Basketball, live on tcceagles.com. Florida Credit Union invites you to become a member and open a checking or student checking account at the Apple Yard branch, conveniently located for all TCC students, faculty, and staff. First Florida Credit Union, enriching people every day. Federally insured by NCUF. Coming out of the timeout, it'll be a three from Anna. This one no good. Chambers goes up for the rebound. And she'll get called for the over-the-back foul. Will only be Chambers' first foul of the afternoon. So no trouble for her there with 5-10 to go in the third. Clockwell takes it. She pulls up. No good, but an easy rebound and an easy bucket for Nia Daniel. Gulf Coast State trying to make their living from those pull-up jumpers from the mid-range. Got a good amount of them to fall. But have also done well on the offensive boards to create second and sometimes third chances. Olivia Eller with it now. Now finds Chambers, who's in the corner. Ten seconds left on the shot clock. Goes over to Kyra Smith. She pulls up for mid-range. No good. Rebounded by Crockwell. Chambers not making it easy on her to bring it up. Goes inside to Ava Miller, who gets past Eller. And back-to-back -back buckets for Gulf Coast State. Extends their lead back to double digits. Inside Anna now with it. That one stolen away. Nia Daniel in transition. Here comes Cabrilla Lewis. Eller pokes it away, and they both go down hard. This one will be out of bounds. It's going to be Gulf Coast State basketball. Both players maybe a little slow to get up. It looks like they're both all right. Olivia Eller with a great effort to prevent Cabrilla Lewis from finishing that basket in transition. 
allows the Eagle defense to get set now with four minutes remaining here in the third quarter. Into the corner now, here's Nia Daniel for three, that's good. Nia Daniel, 15 points on the day for Gulf Coast State. She is the leading scorer in the Panhandle Conference. Here's Eller with it, over to James. Inside to Brianna Chambers, in the low post, she goes up with it. No good, still fights for the rebound, a foul called. I believe it's another over the back call. Aubrey Chambers, that one will be against Rita James. Again, TCC with little bursts of momentum that have kept them in this one. They need a little bit more consistency, though, if they want to get all the way back in it. Trail by 13. This one into the corner. Grant shoots the three, rims out. Chambers goes up for the rebound, but it's poked away. Will be eagle ball. Eagle ball. Inbounded James on it now. Rolls it. Eller scoops it up. This one poked away. Taken by Liz Gibbs. She goes up, gets past James. Shot doesn't fall, but a foul called on James. So that'll send Gibbs to the line, shooting two. And Rita James, despite... The great game she is having. She's got four fouls now, so that'll put her on the bench. And Tariah Bryant will check in for the first time this afternoon. Also, Divine Guthrie coming in for Bree Chambers. And a little bit of a different look for the Eagles. Gibbs, a 61.3% free throw shooter. Sophomore out of Atlanta, Georgia. First one rims out, unlucky. Averaging 6.3 points per game for the Commodores. She's got two today. Second one falls. 14-point lead for Gulf Coast State. Inbounded to Polina. And this one stolen from behind Nia Daniel. Here comes Gulf Coast State once again. Polina gets a steal of her own. She might be all alone, headed to the basket. Great ball fake, and then puts the shot up and in. Pull up three, Gulf Coast State misses. Rebounded by Grant. Doesn't fall, Mel Ferratovic goes up for it, can't hold on. Here's Nia Daniel, now back into the corner for Grant. She takes the three, no good. This one rebounded by Labou Sis. She goes up and she is fouled. And there it is again. Gulf Coast State just creating multiple chances on every possession with the work they put in on the offensive boards. Two and a half remaining. Labou Sis, two and a half remaining in the third, that is. Sis gets her first free throw to fall. A 54.2% free throw shooter. But she does go two for two from the line there. Extends the Gulf Coast State lead back out to 14. Ferratovic on the inbound. Finds Divine Guthrie to bring it up for the Eagles. Now Tariah Bryant with it. Has Eller. Eller had a lot of space. Holds it, though. Comes off the ball screen from Guthrie now. Gives it to Polina. Ten seconds remaining on the shot clock. Polina takes it inside. Now goes outside to Eller. Five seconds and counting. She goes inside to Ferratovic. One second remaining on the shot clock. That one rolls out. Rebounded by Gulf Coast State. A long possession that TCC would have loved to have ended with points. Lemus Sis uses her physicality, gets inside, and gets another bucket. Now pressure from Gulf Coast State, but Eller is able to get it in to Guthrie. A minute and a half remaining in the third. Polina with it now. 
TCC getting set. Baratovic gets the handoff. Bryant finds Eller in the corner. Goes right back inside to Ferratovic. Now Guthrie with it. And Guthrie gets her own rebound and then is fouled. You can see the, the idea there on that play call for TCC. And doesn't end in a field goal, but it does send Divine Guthrie to the free throw line. And only Guthrie's fifth game this season. She is shooting 66.7%. And averaging one and a half points per game. Obviously, her workload has increased. Misses the first. Her second attempt. This one rims out. Though it is rebounded by the Eagles. Tariah Bryant with it. One on one with Ava Miller. She takes it up. Takes a lot of contact. Goes down hard. Nothing called. Crockwell picks it up off the, it looked like right off the baseline. But it'll be Gulf Coast State ball. They're going up quickly. Crockwell with it now. Ferratovic goes to the block. Crockwell keeps it. Now goes all the way inside. Finds Ava Miller. She goes up and gets the shot to fall. Looks like when Crockwell picked that one up, it was sitting on the baseline. Nothing called from the official. Could have kept the ball on the Eagles side of the floor. Divine Guthrie with it now. Looks for an opportunity inside. She finds Bree Chambers, and Chambers is fouled. Ava Miller, the six foot three freshman for Gulf Coast State, their center. She is on three fouls. Has been huge for the Commodores in the paint. She got four points. She's been a great defensive presence, but she'll go on the floor. Tariah Bryant right off the inbound, puts the shot up. No good, but she'll steal it right back. This one will fall. Tariah Bryant gets on the board. Sarah Matthews into the corner to LeBou Sis, who finds Crockwell. A lot of this off run, offense runs through Adrian Crockwell. 12 seconds remaining on the game clock here in the third quarter. Crockwell with it in the corner. Seven seconds. Here's Sarah Matthews. Now in the corner. Two seconds. they got to put a shot up. This one will go out with half a second remaining. And TCC will inbound to send us to the fourth quarter. Be a baseball pass from Mel Ferratovic. Not enough time for Guthrie to get the shot off. But we'll head to the fourth quarter. TCC trails in this one, 64-48. This is TCC Basketball live on tccegles.com. Get social and connect with TCC Athletics on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, and Snapchat, all at TCC Eagles. And following each athletic event, find us on Facebook and see who's been named the TCC Eagle of the game. The TCC Eagles are on social media and we're ready to connect with you. 
Luke Fay joining me on the broadcast once again here in the start of the fourth quarter. This one poked away by Guthrie. Now finds Chambers. Luke. Eagles trying to fight their way back into this one. They need a little bit more offense. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to see if they can maybe go down into the paint. Shots haven't really been falling here in this second half. Let's see if they can get inside the Divine Guthrie, if, if she can get going a little bit here. Seen her play a little bit more here in this fourth quarter. She's one for one from the field today. Gulf Coast State getting ready to inbound. It'll be Nia Daniel, their leading scorer with 12. Corner three, no good, though rebounded by Labou Sis. She puts it up. This one no good, rebounded by Chambers. This one goes inside to Ferratovic. Now Tariah Bryant finishes. She's got another bucket. She's been in some good minutes here in the last 20 or so as Guthrie gets the steal. Got one to beat. She does. Puts it up. No good. Tariah Bryant on the rebound on the putback. Mm. No, and she'll, she will get called for the foul there. She goes over the back. Yeah, the it looked like, um, can't see the number. I think it was 20. Yeah, it would be Cabrilla Lewis. Yeah. Divine Guthrie blew right past her, and I don't think that Guthrie thought she was going to be that open there, Brett. Gulf Coast State, chance to extend the lead. They are up by 14, 8.50 go, to go in the game. Inside now, back to outside to Grant, right. and she'll walk. That'll be a turnover, TCC basketball. And Luke, only eight and a half to go. You kind of look at each possession and you think the Eagles need to be getting at least something every yeah. time they bring it up. I, I would say got to catch a little fire here from beyond the arc to make up some points, and maybe we'll see a little four-court pressure coming up. Uh, that might be something to watch out for. Also, we've seen them go from man to 2-3 zone to try to mix things up. Let's see what they'll do in this last eight minutes. Bryant confidently going to the rack. Another bucket, her third field goal of the game. Tariah Bryant having one of her better performances of the season. Looks extremely confident out there. A deep three from Lewis. No good. It is rebounded by Gulf Coast State. Poked away by Bryant. Now there we go. The corner. And Tariah Bryant forces a turnover between her and Rita James. They have been spark plugs on both sides of the ball. At what point, you know, Rita James, been your... Best scorer, 13 points on the day, six rebounds, but she's sitting on four fouls. At what point do you think Coach Huddleston will try to work her back into this game? Uh, yeah, probably around six-minute mark. You want to see what you can do with this squad on the court right now. you got some good min minutes out of Divine Guthrie. Anna checks right back in. Just can't get that lay-in. Good pressure there from Anna, but now Nia Daniel passed her up on Guthrie and Chambers in the, to meet her in the paint. And, one of them will get called for the foul. I think it'll probably be Chambers. It is. Divine Guthrie gets called there. It'll be an inbound under the basket. Outside to Daniel, who takes the three over Ferratovic. No good. Rebounded again. It seems like she's made every single one of those today. Finally, she misses, but another second chance opportunity here. Grant for three. No good. Ferratovic with the rebound. I say you push up the court here quickly. Anna had numbers. There's Ferratovic. Spins on Daniel, draws the foul. It's the type of quick move you want to see out of the lengthy Mel Ferratovic. She heads to the free throw line. Gulf Coast State with just a vast number of offensive rebounds and second chance points. 
Peritovic struggling from the free throw line this season. Unable to hit that first one. Mel gets the second to fall. Now Adrian Crockwell with it. Finds Daniel, takes another three. No good. Chambers. Yeah, she did take a lot of contact in the back from Ava Miller. And that was one of those sets where we saw the Eagles come out in a 2-3 zone. Daniel's shot went halfway down and popped out. We'll see Bryant check back in for Eller and see what Bryant can do. She's, she's taken to the rack a couple of times today. Yeah, interesting note. That'll be Ava Miller's fourth foul, so she'll go to the bench. They'll bring in Labou Sis, but some rotation, some forced rotation there for Gulf Coast State. Give Bree Chambers a different look in the paint. Now Tariah Bryant does find Chambers on the outside. Gives it off to Bryant, looks for a three. Has the space for it. Takes a mid-range jumper. No good and rebounded by Crockwell. Gulf Coast State moving in transition. Here's Sarah Matthews running the baseline. Goes up, and it's good. That's tough to stop right there. And right about now is when I'd think about bringing in Rita off the bench here with her fouls. Polina back at the scorer's table. TCC facing pressure. Anna gets it all the way up with four seconds before the 10-second the call then. A great bounce pass over to Tariah Bryant. Now inside Kyra Smith. Now back out to Anna. Some good ball movement here on this possession so far for TCC. Chambers down low. Oh gets it my. to fall. Fearless from Brianna Chambers. I don't know how she wasn't fouled there. It looked like she was mauled but able to finish. Only an 11-point game now. A little under six to go. Sarah Matthews. There we the go. Corner, picked off Look by up. Anna. There She's got go. Tariah Bryant in transition. Can she recover it? She does. She pulls up, then goes up for the shot again. No foul called, but she'll rebound her own shot once more. Brianna Chambers from the baseline. A Deficit cut to single digits by the Eagles. A little bit fortunate there. It almost looked like a pass to herself by Bryant. And, oh, Gulf Coast State goes coast to coast right away. But the Eagles finally cut it down to single digits there. Can feel some of the energy starting to shift. Could use a three right here. Here is Kyra Smith. She'll take the three. And no good. That one will go off of Bryant. And you think the last couple buckets for TCC have come when they've played at that higher tempo. And that might be the tempo they need to try to keep it at for these last five minutes and change. Yeah, push it in transition. Don't let Gulf Coast State get up into their defense. And now we have Rita James and Polina Nikolichkina in. Almost like a three-guard set here with the last five minutes going. Eagles trailing by 11. 2-3 yeah, here as well. This could be the five that the Eagles roll with for the rest of this one. A deep three finds nothing. As Liz Gibbs takes a chance there. Gibbs, the sophomore guard from Atlanta, has got seven rebounds in this one, but only three points. We'll head into our last media timeout of the afternoon. This is TCC Basketball, live on tccegles.com.
And we're back out of that media timeout. Inbounded to Rita James. TCC facing pressure. James gets out of it. Now Polina with it. TCC down 11. Less than five to go. Good job Rio there. Chambers for three. No good. Not want to go out of play, but. I thought that was a good job there by Chambers to create space with the ball. Almost set a screen while she was holding yeah. the ball. Yeah, uh, I, I think she probably just needs to get her feet set a little bit more there. She kind of couldn't believe around. that. I don't yeah. think she believed that she was that open. Couldn't right. believe it. Uh, but in, in this situation, if you get a stop here or a steal, expect some full court pressure. Here they go. Here comes Polina and Rita James. Polina takes it herself. Oh. A lot of contact. No call and no bucket. I mean, you got to finish that. That's that's just an easy that's an easy lay in. You're going fast. Slow down your body control. And there's Mia Daniel. That's one you have to get. A little over four to go. Gulf Coast State leading by 13. Polina with it now. Kyra Smith cutting inside. Gets it in the low post. She'll back herself into it and a great finish. Oh, that was Kyra a Smith. Tough shot there, Brett. Able to use the glass on a tough angle and 11-point game here, stolen by Anna. Just like that, it's a nine-point game. Like I said, I want to see some full-court pressure coming up here. Ooh, travel. No travel, but a steal here by Kyra. Polina looking for Anna. She's got it right under the basket. She finds her. Shot goes up and in. Keep on the pressure. Keep on the pressure right here. 70-63, Gulf Coast State sees their lead cut to seven. Coach Huddleston. 3.15 to go. Screaming over at Kyra, and Kyra on the deck. Is that not maybe a travel? A jump ball, maybe a travel call. No, it will be a jump ball. And it should be TCC ball. The, I don't remember the last time the possession arrow. The last time the possession arrow, we had a jump ball. It was Gulf Coast State ball. Unsure there, but I do know I do know this, Brett, that uh, Coach Huddleston really wanted Kyra to pressure the ball there. Just got to be aware when you make the shot. It's working right now. Gulf Coast State starting to struggle here. A lot of turnovers being forced. Inside. Oh, that, that was nothing. Called that was Camille nothing. Lewis. That's a terrible call. I'm sorry, Brad. That is a that's a terrible call. That'll send Lewis to the free throw line. I think that they called on Kyra. I believe so. Yeah, Ky Kyra did not. It was just Kyra contested the shot, but didn't even, I don't even think touched her in Lewis. Lewis just tried to re uh, rearrange her shot there in midair and made it look like she got hit. So quell a little bit of the run. But it should, I think that was a travel on the ground there too. She never had possession of the ball. Or she did have possession of the ball and then it was rolling off. Lewis goes two for two, extends the lead to nine, 258 remaining. Polina. Here we TCC, go. Got to move quick, keep the momentum going. Polina will get fouled by Sarah Matthews. That'll be the third team foul there. TCC with a chance here. Polina inbounding. Kyra Smith cutting inside. Ball fake, but gets her own rebound. Tries to get it out to Polina, and that one, Polina thinks it was tipped, but it'll be Gulf Coast State ball. 2.50 remaining. Eagles with some full court pressure. Polina was waiting for the interception. This ball's loose, though, reclaimed by Matthews. Now Laboo sis with oh. it. She pulls up and gets it to fall. That was good defense there, and, and really, you would let Sis take that shot all day, five seconds into the shot clock. Chambers with it. She turns around and gets the shot to fall. Another quick bucket from full, the Eagles. Full court pressure here again for TCC. Yeah, right in this thing. The last few minutes of some great defensive play here. Sarah Matthews with it. No good. Rebounded by Sis. Poked away. It'll stay. You see Nia Daniel and Tariah. Bryant, maybe check. Yep, she's going to check back in for Kyra Smith, it looks like. But we're going to get a timeout called by Coach Huddleston with 2.16 remaining. Gulf Coast State leads this one 74 65.
Liz Gibbs going to get the ball for the inbound. Commodores leading this one by nine. TCC almost forced another turnover. Here's Labusis again. No good. Maybe out of play. No. Nia Daniel gets it in and is fouled. Man, it looked like they were out of bounds. Yeah. Referee standing right on top of that one. So. Brett, it almost feels like the Eagles need another two minutes and they'd be able to claw back in. This full court pressure is really hampered Gulf Coast State in these final three or four minutes. First free throw attempt is good from Nia Daniel. She goes two for two from the line and extends the lead to 11. Eagles have to move quick with just over two to go. Anna pulls up for three. No good. Rebounded by Rita James. She goes inside and is fouled. Rita James, 13 points and now seven rebounds on the day. Definitely a handful of steals as well. She'll be shooting her seventh free throw, five of six from the free throw line. Four Eagles in double digits in scoring. Rita James, Brianna Chambers with 12. Both Anna and Polina Nikolichkina with 12 as well. First free throw, no good from James. Keeps it at 11. She can cut it to 10 here with a bucket. She does. Step up here. Some more full court pressure with two minutes to go. Gulf Coast State will get out of it. And get the bucket. Make it a 12-point game. That is Liz Gibbs. Polina now. Over to Tariah Bryan, who's had a good performance. Gets her into the game for the last couple minutes here. Rita James with a great spin move and a bucket to go. That was pretty right there. Great finish there by Rita in body control. Here's Gibbs with it. Find Sarah Matthews. Gulf Coast State going to try to kill off the last minute and 20 seconds of this game. They've got a 10-point lead. Tariah Bryant one-on-one -on -one right now with Gibbs. She goes into the corner, finds Sarah Matthews, who is fouled. Rita James, that'll be her fifth in the end of her afternoon. Trying to reason with the official. But one of the best performances of her season here in the Eagle Dome. Brianna Chambers is going to check in for Kyra Smith. So the five on the floor will see Bree Chambers, Anna and Polina, Tariah Bryant, and Olivia Eller back in. First free throw is good for Sarah Matthews. Makes it 79-68 with a minute five to go. Brett, have you noticed how much easier the offense is when they push the ball off the court quickly? They when they're when they're keeping defenses, especially like this Gulf Coast State defense, off balance. They've got some really good athletes that can make plays. Yeah, like right here, go. Probing inside. Oh, an absolutely great move from Tariah Bryant. Sometimes it's better to just move faster. Start your offense. I feel like a lot of time, you know, so far this game and throughout the season. They've, wept, they've waited for the defense to get set for them to start the offense. When you should just go. Just go. Tariah Bryant saw it. Went. Created her own shot. And that's how you create space. That's how you make it to where you can kick it out for three. You saw right there a good easy bucket. We've seen that, though, happen the last three or four minutes. Great, Great D here. here. Could be 10 that seconds. That should be a 10-second call, and it is. Making things a little interesting here. It's a 10-point game, 46 to go. And Luke, once again, the full-court pressure turns into a turnover for Gulf Coast State. I think you have to get a quick three here. Let's see if they go over to the base, this left corner here. Inbounded to Anna, 45 seconds remaining. Takes it all the way inside. Anna's fouled hard, goes down hard at least. And the way this game is going, Brett, you, you kind of feel confident as long as TCC can get it to where Gulf Coast State has to inbound, they have an advantage. 
Anna at the free throw line. She's got 12. And that'll be a technical, I think. They're gonna give a warning. You can't. I can't. Right you can't be. Throw. You can't be yelling during the <laughs> middle of a free throw for your coach. I feel like that's. She was pretty standard there. Basically asking for to be teed up there. Second free throw falls for Anna. This one inbounded. Who stepped in front? And I mean, will be fouled. That's another thing. You don't see. You don't see the girls taking very many charges. You step in front there. There was no other way for Elizabeth Gibbs to get around. That would have been a charge going the other way. Polina's third. That will send Liz Gibbs to the free throw line with 38 and a half seconds to go. Bree Chambers checking back in for Kyra Smith. Coach Huddleston kind of swapping them in and out late on here in this game. Honestly, a technical foul might have might have changed things a little bit in here. Yeah, I, I, I agree. I, I'm surprised. I think that even with the whistle, the one referee was looking at the other saying, did you <laughs> tee him up or did I tee him up? Or what, what, what was, you know, what was going on with Caleb Petrie? But just a warning and now an 11-point game, just not enough time left here. Jariah Bryant goes all the way back inside. Oh. Bree Chambers wasn't expecting it. They were both kind of all that alone was there. An, that was an incredible pass. Yeah, Tariah Bryant really finding some confidence in this game. She's looked great. I think that, that hit Bree right in the right in the shoulder. She just was not expecting the pass at all. She was in awe of Tariah moving downhill like that to the bucket like she's done all game. It's gotten her eight points. I gotta say, this is probably the best best game of the season for Tariah all year looks like she she got a lot of confidence here in this fourth quarter and has really shown it Mia Daniel shooting her second free throw that one's good 84 71 26 seconds we see the shot clock disappear TCC pushing it up quickly and it takes it all the way up and gets the bucket 84 73 now inbounded we got him in the corner no shot clock here Comes Grant inside at the bucket and looks like Gulf Coast State will dribble this one out. And they'll win this one 84 to 73 over the Tallahassee Eagles. Eagles move to 1 and 12 in Panhandle Conference play. Gulf Coast State now moves to 7 and 7. Eagles will be back in action the 23rd at Chipola at 6.30 p.m. And Luke, real quick before we honor the sophomores here, talk about the, the offensive d display we saw from the Eagles today. I, I think that one thing that you can take away from this game is, you know, Coach Huddleston's probably going to say, don't look at the second quarter. Um, third quarter was okay. But really, let's go back and look at the fourth quarter and what TCC did throughout there, especially the last five minutes. That's something that you want to replicate throughout the uh, rest of the, the season, which there's only three games left. You want to prove something. Um, get your second Panhandle Conference win. And right now we're going to honor the sophomores who have been here. Now, we, we don't know who will be coming back right now, but there are a couple of players on the team that might be honored right now that will take their extra year of eligibility. But, you know, overall, if you're looking at it, something, this last fourth quarter was a positive move towards the rest of the season. You just got to capitalize. Yep, well, Rita James leads the way for the Eagles, 16 points, 7 rebounds. She was 4 for 7 from the field. Tariah Bryant, great performance, 8 points and 4 rebounds. 15 points for Anna Nikolochkina. For Gulf Coast State, they were led by Nia Daniels with 26 and 6 rebounds. So we'll step aside from commentary here as both the TCC men's and women's basketball teams will honor their sophomores, and then we'll be back for TCC men's basketball live on tcceagles.com.
First up, we'll be recognizing our men's sophomores. We'll be joined up on the floor by head coach Zach Setembre. Up first, number zero, Eton Collins. Eton is from Federal Way, Washington, and transferred to PCC after playing his freshman season at Western Lower Connecticut University. This season, he has averaged six points and two rebounds in 18 games. to recognize our 2021 women's sophomores who will be doing our 
Number five, Rita James. Rita is from Bayelsa State, Nigeria, and today was her 40th career game in the Eagles. In 14 games a season, she was averaging six points, four rebounds, and one assist. Number 10, Sadeja Payne. Sadeja is from Apopka, Florida, and unfortunately missed the entire season due an injury sustained during the fall semester as a freshman. However, she played in 25 games, averaged 11 points, and was an all fan handle conference selection. Thank you. 